Well, good afternoon. It's 1234 when we are recording this. Boy, I tell you, today is a day you just want to go outside and, and look up. Uh, just watch the clouds. Uh, there's a lot of wind out there. They're moving quickly. They're fair weather, beautiful, those little puffy cumulus clouds, and it's pretty pretty pleasant out there as well. Temperatures in the mid 50s, a lot of sunshine, winds moving at the surface in the 20 mile per hour range with gusts as high as 30 to 35. So in the wind, you may feel a bit chilly, probably not a patio lunch day, but we are looking at a lot of sunshine here. This is all dry air kind of getting sucked into this uh, really old and aging system. When they get old and aging like this, they move slow. They move in a lot of dry air uh, and they circle back down to the south and east on the kind of the northern edge of this. And that's where we're going to see some extra cloud cover later on this afternoon and evening. And then that'll carry into tomorrow. But first, let's, first, let's talk about this dry and windy weather that we're seeing today. It's leading to a fire weather warning for Camden and Pulaski counties. Uh, that's a red flag warning. Our system just doesn't pick up on that from the National Weather Service. But that is what we're seeing in our southwesternmost counties. And in fact, that really could be said probably for a lot of us today as we're all seeing windy conditions. And that's going to really continue. Wind gusts again as high as 30 to 35 miles per hour later on this afternoon. And all of us are pretty dry as well with the driest air off towards the south and west, where again, we've got that warning. Later on tonight, it fills in with a bit more moisture as we see that cloud cover move in. And we also pick up a chance for a few spotty showers. So we're mild and dry this afternoon, but a few spotty showers try to work their way in. We could see a sprinkle or two this evening. Nothing to really worry about. Um, don't change your plans if you've got outdoor plans. We'll likely see that struggle with that dry air in place. Uh, heading into the overnight hours, we don't really keep a lot of that cloud cover around. It's not until Thursday, really around midday, maybe early afternoon, that we really pick up the better cloud cover. We'll likely introduce more chances for showers later in the day into the evening hours, into the overnight as temperatures start to fall. Those showers may transition to a flake or two making it to the ground as well. Right now, I'm not even leaning towards uh, grassy accumulations. I don't think we see much at all because, mind you, while temperatures may be close to freezing in some places like uh, Macon, Paris, or Mexico, uh, ground temperatures not quite there yet, and it'll take more time for them to cool down. So I don't really expect any accumulations, maybe some elevated surfaces if you get some of that repeated snow shower activity, but otherwise I'm uh, not too worried about that. But as we head into Friday, we will see this all move away eventually. That big wraparound portion leaves us and we're looking at clearing skies and we're looking at warming as well. We'll see much more southerly flow out ahead of that next trough out towards the west and that will warm us up into the weekend slowly at first. I mean, we're talking about mid 50 on Saturday, but heading into Sunday, we're back into the 70s uh, as we see plenty of sunshine and again, some of that southerly flow return. There's that next chance for rain. Again, that's going to be likely into Thursday evening, the best chance. We've got a small chance tonight, but we've left it off the board. I think the best chance is going to be that Thursday night chance. And even then, not a widespread rain fall outlook there. Saturday into Sunday, things looking pleasant, but uh, we will add more warmth, which will set us up for more chances for storms early next week.